This video is sponsored by Dino Mods. Now, Dino Mods have been around the scene for a while, and they are a trusted, proven seller in the community who strive to satisfy their customers. They provide highly competitive prices and are always searching for people to resell their services. So go check them out. Link's going to be in the description below. Thanks for the sponsor, Dinos. What's crack a lacking YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. It's your favorite gamer here. I'm the Puff Man, and I'm coming back to you with some more Cold War Zombies content. Guys, in this one, I'm going to be showing you the new bestest way to get that dark ether camo. Guys, this way is so OP. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love it. And if at any time you do love the video, you know what to do smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel you're gonna want to subscribe so hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications with all that being said let's get into this video come on baby let's go all right me amigo so i want to go through a few things here guys with you that you're gonna want to do before grinding these camos now first thing obviously if it's not a double xp like it is right now Go ahead into your uh, available tokens and slap on some weapon XP tokens. Now, once you've done that, you're also going to want to go to the weapon that you're using. Now, if it's a new weapon that you're just starting to use, you're going to want to use whatever, like the best blueprint that's available for that weapon. Instead of just using the stock weapon, you know what I mean, with no attachments or anything like that. So if you got a blueprint for that weapon, go ahead and apply it. It's just going to help you out in these rounds and it's going to be much better, guys, I'm telling you. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead into your skills. So go to your weapons, go to skills. That's what I'm trying to do here, trying to figure it out. But going to skills, you're going to see weapon classes. Now, whatever class that you're doing right now, like let's say submachine guns or shotguns or uh, assault rifles, you're going to want to max those out to tier 5. So make sure you're upgrading those to tier 5. That way there, they get that critical bonus damage to 25%. It increases the close quarters and stuff like that, guys. It's really, really good. And then also, if you can, you know, your field upgrades, your perks, your ammo mods, stuff like that. Go ahead and upgrade all that stuff, guys, and it's going to help you out. Trust me. And now, with that being said, I think we're ready to go. So let's get into the gameplay here. And just to show you guys here in the gameplay, the first thing you're going to want to do, like in these first couple rounds, like up to round 5, I want you guys to round these zombies up and get your nice clean like pretty much free critical kills like i mean there's six zombies here it shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue you know line them up make sure you're aiming right at their heads you know a little a little tap tap on the trigger and that's all you guys need you know get all those free critical kills now when you can that way there by the time we want to exfil we should have enough critical kills and we'd be good to go so let's move on here now I want to go through this step by step with you guys just simply so you guys know exactly how to do it and how to grind these camels properly for the best fastest way. So here on round 5 I got one zombie left guys and you should be able to by the end of this round if you're getting all your critical kills and stuff like that you should be able to go ahead and open up the last door to turn on power because what we're going for here guys is we want to get pack a punch we want to get dead shot daiquiri and jug as quick as we can. I would also like to thank each and every one of you guys for your support it's truly amazing the channel has just been blowing up and it's all a big thanks to you guys i love you all i can't thank you guys enough thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you all so much also guys very important upgrade your weapon at the arsenal so every chance you get if you got enough uh, salvage go ahead go to the arsenal upgrade that weapon now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn on pack a punch and what this is going to do it's going to allow us to do a few other things that i will show you guys and uh, it's just going to help us out here so when you're in this dark ether guys you're going to want to go ahead i know i say guys a lot but you're going to want to go ahead guys and uh, all these crystals here go ahead and break them along the way that way there you know you can get some extra points out of it like essence uh, maybe uh, ray gun possibly you never know you could get armor armor is very important as well guys the quicker we could get it the better so this is the one that you guys are gonna want so right here where I gotta drop down to go ahead and get my part for the pack a punch that's the spot that you want to open so if it's in the other area just make sure next time you go into the dark ether because we will be going into dark ether again make sure you drop down this tunnel here because we need to have this spot open 
So here we go. We're grabbing our pack a punch part. Now we're gonna go ahead and pack, uh, open up pack a punch and stuff like that. And then what we'll be able to do after we open up pack a punch, we're gonna be able to go ahead and go back into the dark ether because I want to get us enough points so we can go ahead and get dead shot daiquiri as quick as possible. So we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna go back into the dark ether and I'm gonna show you guys what to do. Now we're going to be entering the dark ether again guys now this orb is going to spawn in three different locations for you like one or the other could be here on top of penthouse or where i just showed you or the third spot could be here in the pond area now wherever this spawns is where your first ether scope is going to be like the first part for it so mine is here in the particle accelerator room so my first part is going to be here in the particle accelerator room now i will show you guys where these parts are just so you know uh so what we're doing here basically guys is it, this spawns in dogs every time we pick up one of these parts it's going to spawn in a bunch of dogs that we could get points from so i'm going to go ahead grab my first part right here and like i was saying wherever that orb is is going to depend on where your part is so if it's in penthouse your first part's going to be right there just where i picked it up in the yard or if it's in the pond area it's going to be right here on top of the plane wing so go ahead and at this time too guys if this spot's not open yet go ahead and you're going to want to go ahead and open up that spot so now we went ahead we killed all the dogs and stuff if you guys want to go ahead and build the ether scope you can by all means go ahead and do so pick it up that way there we can spawn in more ether orbs if we need to but now we have enough money here guys to go ahead and grab deadshot daiquiri now deadshot daiquiri is very important guys for those critical kills and that's what we're looking to get so make sure you grab that first and then the next thing we're going to want to do here guys is go ahead and shoot all these orbs and this is going to activate the coffin dance so i am showing you guys exactly where all the orbs are and at the end of the coffin dance we're going to get this thing that we could open up like a little crate i will show you guys let's fast forward through this and i'll show you guys uh, what it looks like here let's check it out all right so i hit the fast forward button here hopefully you guys can still see where those orbs are now it's going to shoot you into the dark ether coffin dance once it's done you're going to see this crate right here now we got free a jug so now we got dead shot daiquiri we got jug next thing we want to do guys is go ahead and pack a punch so at the end of round eight you should be able to do this so pack a punch level one also put on the cryo freeze ammo mod now this is going to help us out a lot so make sure you guys got those two things make sure you got everything i just explained to you in the video now we're ready to go so what we're going to do guys is we're going to go right here in this spot right here and that's the spot that we opened up to get the pack punch part and we're simply sitting right here guys that is it so we're going to sit right here we're going to aim down sights and just a nice little pull on that trigger guys you don't hold it down just a nice little tap on it to kill the zombies and that's it so aim down sight give it a nice little tap and that's all guys we're gonna get so many critical kills here it's gonna be just amazing so now what we want to do is we want to go to round 20 at the end of round 20 here guys we want to try and leave ourselves a zombie now i am going through the clip here you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about but try to keep yourselves a zombie that way there you could go to the exfil area because we're exfilling on round 21 here now this is it's it's amazing guys i'm telling you so we're gonna exfil on round 21 like i was saying leave your yourself a zombie here if you can and then we're gonna run to the the spawn area that's where the exfil button is and then we're gonna go ahead and exfil now i will fast forward here a little bit just so you guys can see exactly what's up and i can explain to you guys what's going on here all right so here we go i'm at the end of my round and again guys as soon as you're able to pack a punch and get to the arsenal machine and stuff like that make sure you guys are doing that in these rounds so by like round 20 you should be pack a punch three times you should be tiered up to purple on your weapon from the arsenal machine now open up those doors you just see me open we're gonna go ahead here we're gonna stand right here by the uh, the machine to activate the exfil we're gonna kill our last few zombies and then we're gonna go ahead and exfil now at the end of this guys you should have around five to six hundred critical kills which means you know you do five six games like this they don't take too long maybe like half an hour a game and and that's it guys that's all you gotta do five six games like that and you should have your camos for this weapon or whatever weapon it is that you guys are using this is the fastest method guys i guarantee it go ahead and do it like this and you guys will be satisfied i'm telling you get that grind on let me know how it goes down in the comments below don't forget to smash that like button and keep my algorithm real subscribe with that bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my awesome excellent videos guys get in the game glitch something out have some fun until next time
I'm the Puff Man. Peace out.